Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Shadjo, back again with another YouTube video, and I told you guys I'd be back soon. Okay, but basically, today I'm talking to you guys because the other day I was scrolling on Twitter, you know, just minding my own business, when suddenly I came across this tweet. Now, I didn't think much of it at the time, until later on I was scrolling, and I saw that somebody had quoted the tweet saying the following. Right. Is anyone currently working on getting this piece of shit Cancer Research UK advert removed from everywhere? Is there something I can sign? How the fuck is this okay? Now, just to clarify, the response that I just read was written to this advert, the one seen here. Just to make sure that there's no miscommunications, no one's understand this, this picture right here elicited that response. What the f Now, the author of this response was none other than Sophie Hagen. And if you don't know who that is, I don't blame you. I didn't know either. The only reason I even decided to like do research on her was because I noticed that she had the blue check. Apparently, she has a, um, she's a comedian who um, performs stand-up in the UK area, so if you live in like London or maybe anywhere around there, like maybe you know who she is, I'm not entirely sure. Light, 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 light. Trying to light on me. Light, light, okay. And so, at first when I saw this, I felt really bad because here you had an organization, the Cancer Research UK, trying to, you know, promote like steps to prevent cancer like they're trying like they're obviously here like advocating for cancer prevention and you have this celebrity coming in and just like tearing into them like going off and just like making fun of like not making fun but kind of like bashing them and i felt really bad because they're just trying to do their job and here they are getting like talked essentially and to make things worse like this research company now had to like go and defend themselves because here they are getting attacked by Sophie Hagen on Twitter. So now having to defend themselves after what Sophie Hagen said, they put this tweet out. So, to make sure you know I had all the facts and to make sure I was understanding what was going on, I went on their website, cancerresearchuk.org, and I decided to read up about what's going on. Now, I know some of you might be lazy or maybe you just don't care enough to go and actually read, it's a lot of information, so, but there's a video that does a pretty good job explaining it, and I'll just play that short clip right now. We don't know exactly how obesity causes cancer, but we know that there's a very clear link between the two. Now, the more fat you have, the more this plays havoc with your hormones and your hormones are key for how your cells divide. Now, if your hormones are out of sync, then your cells might not divide correctly and they might produce abnormal cells. And this production of abnormal cells is basically the start of cancer. So to anyone who's taken bio before, like biology, you understand that your cells are a very crucial part of what makes you you. And if they perform poorly, then your body will in turn perform poorly. So healthy cells makes a healthy you. That makes sense to everyone, correct? Psych! Not so much to Sophie Hagen. You see, it would appear that Sophie Hagen is convinced that being fat isn't unhealthy for you. And as a matter of fact, she encourages one being fat almost. Which blew my mind because here in America at least, now maybe things in England are different, I doubt it, obesity is actually considered a medical illness, like it's almost a disease. Now at first I wonder why Sophie Hagen was so like enamored and so enraged with this post. But doing more research and reading her Wikipedia page led me to find out that she's actually a part of the fat acceptance movement. And as you can judge by pictures from her Instagram, it seems to be working out for her. Anyways, I felt really bad for Cancer Research UK as they're just trying to do their job, do a good thing in the world, and Sophie Hagen had to come and release an entire Twitter riot rant rampage, I don't even know what you want to call it, but she came at their lives trying to like call them pieces of when they were out here just trying to inform the public and save lives. So to help out their cause, I decided to donate five euros. Um, if you guys want to donate, I'll leave a link down in the description. Um, make sure you guys help them out and I'm getting a phone call. But um, I highly encourage you guys to do it as obviously, you know, cancer prevention is very important and I don't take this as a joke. You know, obviously we should really help out as someone who's been affected by um, a family member who's had cancer. I think that we don't call these people pieces of shit, but instead try to better ourselves and try to allow people who are trying to help people to do that. I'll be right back. Ugh. So where was I? You see, Sophie Hagen was also triggered by this Amy Schumer movie that's coming out sometime in April. I don't really know too much about it, but apparently there's something wrong with it because obviously the comedic intellect herself, Sophie Hagen, had something to say about it, and at least another Twitter rampage about it. Now, this movie that Amy Schumer is in, I'll put a link down in the description if you guys want to see the trailer that, you know, obviously caused this controversy. 
But if you don't, or if I forget to put it down when I'm editing, or if you just want to figure out what happens, I'll tell you what I can basically summarize the thing as. Amy Schumer's character, um, obviously if you don't know who Amy Schumer is, it's Amy Schumer, and she looks exactly like herself, there's no altercation to her body or anything, but her character suffers from low self-esteem. And essentially, the, the whole plot of the movie is that she hits her head and suffers a concussion. And this concussion gives her high self-esteem. She uses this high self-esteem to, you know, get a promotion, she gets a boyfriend, a love interest, I think, or whatever. And basically, like, the whole idea is that, like, you know, what, like, how your self-worth, like, your self-worth determines, like, how far you go in life. At least that's how I interpreted the movie to be, like, that's what I thought the whole point was. But like I said, Sophie Hagen had a problem with this. She was triggered. She went off on Twitter. Granted, this happened, this technically happened before the, um, the Cancer UK research one, but I never, like, I never saw this until, like, I now was doing research on the other one, and so I'm combining them, so, you know what, just, just, okay, just, just let it happen, okay? This creature's really close. But basically, these tweets that she was posting called Amy Schumer out saying that she wasn't fat enough to have self-esteem issues. I, I think, I think that was what she was trying to say, or maybe that was the issue. She thinks that Amy Schumer is Hollywood fat, but not real life fat, and because she's Hollywood fat and not real life fat, she can't think that she's Hollywood fat? No. Wait, hold on. Okay. So, Amy Schumer is Hollywood fat, and, okay, hold on. Amy Schumer is Hollywood fat, but not regular world fat, but the movie has her think that she's not Hollywood fat, even though she's only Hollywood fat. I think. It's, it's really confusing. I don't, I don't know what her argument is, to be honest with you. I don't even know why she's complaining. It's just, it makes no sense to me. But anyways, I thought it was really dumb because the whole premise of the movie was that self-esteem and how you look at yourself determines how far you go in life. And as someone who's a part of the anti, anti, anti-fat movement, I think I did that right, you would think that Sophie Hagen would be, like, would be supportive of a movie acknowledging one's self-worth. Psych! But apparently f***ing not, so I don't know what she stands for, what she's doing with her life. Anyways, I Feel Pretty, the movie that I'm talking about, Amy Schumer's thing, comes out April 27th. I'm not getting paid to say this, but, you know, Amy Schumer, if y'all want to throw me a bag real quick, like, if y'all, like, have your people talk to my people, you know, my business email down in the description, just hit me up, I will listen, I will listen, you, whatever you want, you got it. But guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, please make sure to leave us a thumbs up, hopefully you guys are having a great day, Sophie Hagen, if you somehow stumble across this, I doubt it, I hope you get your favorite home cooked meal, I hope you f***ing, you know, take a chill pill, calm down, it's not that deep, it's really not, people are just trying to save lives and have a good time watching movies, I don't know why you feel the need to go on these rants. Even though that's really ironic because I'm going on a rant about how you're going on a rant about dumb stuff. So I guess that's like the epitome of going on rants about dumb stuff. But that's not the point. It's only, it's, look, I'm doing this for entertainment, okay? And if you guys thought it was entertaining, make sure to leave a like. If you're new around here, you've never seen a video by me before, what are you doing with your life? Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell with my name so you know when I post a new video, get those notifications on. Um, make sure you're subscribed. I don't know what else I haven't said. But, um, look at me, I'm back making videos. If I don't know if you guys like this type of thing. Um, I enjoy it. Leave your thoughts and stuff down in the comment section below. And let me know what you guys think. Is, am I, am I reading this wrong? Were those ads going too far? Did I miss something? Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed. It's been your boy Shadow Joe. You know, video things will be here. Make sure you subscribe, you can click. I mean, they'll put stuff on. I'm just gonna sit here and eat my pizza. But, um, you guys have a great day. And, um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I'm not going anywhere. I don't know why I said peace. I'm, I'm going to be here eating my pizza until the video ends. But, um, yeah. You're still here? You're still going to... You're just going to watch me eat this pizza? I mean, honestly, I'm probably just going to make this go on for as long as possible, because, like, ten minutes, you know, like, two ads... Even though I'm not monetized right now, like, obviously, we're trying to maximize our profit margin. We're trying to get that YouTube money. Mmm. 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 Oh my god. Well. It's good. I'm not going It's good. That's a good pizza. It was hella expensive, though. Like, y'all, you know, it was hella expensive. Like, pizza's expensive. Alright. I'm done.
You guys go. Go. Go home. I mean, you should already be at home, but like, just, just leave. Okay? Goodbye. Goodbye. Gang, gang, gang. They say a little number where you been in. I'm just passing the breeze. I've been running up there, jingling, you bitches on me.